What's up everyone, I'm Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Vaya mattress. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about the mattress, run through the construction details, the pros and cons, who it's a good fit for, who it's not a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video, you're gonna have a pretty good idea if you're gonna to wanna to get it, so stay tuned. All right, if you want to learn more about this mattress, see some of our top picks, save some money with exclusive coupons, definitely check out all that information at mattressclarity.com. All right, we have the Via mattress here. Right now, it's currently available on Amazon. Go check out that listing. It's a very simple kind of no-frills construction. I've reviewed a lot of mattresses similar to this before, so I decided to jump in and give it a try. Let's talk about the construction of the Via mattress. Very simple construction here, starting with the cover. Nice soft cover, pretty thin, not gonna really affect the feel of the mattress overall too much. Moving on to the mattress now. Looks like there's three layers, but this is really just a base layer kind of put into two pieces. It's pretty much the same thing. So one base layer and then one top layer here, comfort layer. It's very, very soft, uh, very, very responsive. It is called Via foam. So we'll show you what that looks like. You can immediately put your hand in there. So the only thing to note is if you're a medium size, heavier sleeper, you sleep on your side, you're probably gonna press right through that and feel the very firm layer underneath that. So you might bottom out. So that's something to note. That might make this a little bit better for kind of kids, kind of teenagers, lightweight sleepers. Um, but yeah, just pretty straightforward construction. This is a very responsive surface. So it's not gonna have any sort of like sinking in memory foam feel. It's a pretty just straightforward construction overall. All right, now let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a six and a half out of 10, with 10 being the firmness, right in the middle of the kind of firmness range. The reason I feel that way is you have two layers. The top layer is very soft. You can push your hand in very easily. And then it gets very firm underneath that. So you kind of combine that feel, it's about a six and a half. I would say if you are heavier, you're gonna think it's a little bit firmer because you're gonna kind of press through that top layer and hit the bottom layer pretty easily. Uh, if you're a little bit lighter, you may think it's a little bit uh, uh, softer. So just kind of depends on your weight there. As far as the feel is concerned, it's kind of a balanced feel. It's pretty responsive. There's gonna be some bounce. I'll show you with this lacrosse ball. See how the ball just kind of bounces up there. It's gonna be easy to switch positions, um, things of that nature. So nice balance feel overall. You're gonna sink in, but not too much, and a nice foam feel overall. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. Starting on my back, first thing I notice is my hips do sink in a decent amount. It's actually a decent match for me uh, from a support perspective, but I would say if you weigh what I do or weigh more, you probably want something a little bit more firm, a little bit more supportive overall. Switching on to my side now, uh, I do feel a little bit of pressure. It's okay with pressure relief, but again, if you are my size or heavier, you're probably gonna bottom out and feel that pressure of the, the bottom layer. So if you're heavier than me, definitely uh, don't get this if you're a side sleeper. Switching on to my stomach now, I would say it's just a little bit too soft. You need something probably firmer, a little bit more supportive, pretty much of any weight. So I would say if you're a stomach sleeper, I'd probably look elsewhere. Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing because it shows you exactly how well every mattress relieves pressure. I'm gonna lie down this pressure map here, get down on my backside and stomach. You're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. Only thing to note is we have a different body type than I do. You may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 250. I'm a larger person than Joe and I wanna give my experience on the Via mattress. Now, Joe said this was a six and a half out of 10 in terms of firmness. I thought it was closer to a seven and a half in terms of firmness. And that's because I'm pressing much further into the mattress than Joe does, feeling some more pressure, especially when I'm on my side. It's also just as a larger person, I'm not feeling the support that Joe felt. So for me, a seven and a half. Now, in terms of sleeping position, starting on my back, not a very good match for me. I feel like I'm kind of falling into the mattress. So while I think it's firmer, that's probably because I'm dropping right through the mattress, sometimes even feeling the slats beneath that. So as a larger person, I'm definitely not the best match as a back sleeper on this mattress. Moving to my side, again, I'm dropping pretty far into this mattress, feeling some serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips, so not a good match for me as a side sleeper either. And then finally, moving to my stomach, it's also not the best match for me. So I'm definitely dropping into the mattress, specifically in the center mass area here, so my hips are dipping in, feeling some lower back strain as well. I definitely need a more supportive mattress than the Via. So 
What does all that mean? I think you, if you are a larger person like me, you're probably gonna wanna find a more supportive mattress. And if you're a heavier side sleeper, look for something with more of a thick comfort layer that gives you good pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider motion transfer. Basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? To test that, I've got a glass here. I'm gonna create a little disturbance around the glass, see how it reacts. You'll see it's moving just a little bit, so there is some motion transfer there. I also had Martin on my team kind of jump in and out of bed, create a little disturbance, and I did feel a little bit of that motion transfer over to me, so that's just something to note if you sleep with a partner. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're gonna to wanna to consider edge sport. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off? I'm on the edge here. You can see that the foam is collapsing quite a bit, so the edge sport in this case is not the best, but I'm gonna lie down on my back now. And I am getting a rolling off the bed feeling, so definitely the edge board is not so good in this case. All right, now let's talk about some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. Number one thing I can think of, it's very good for a guest room. It's very good value if you just want a nice guest room mattress. Uh, kids as well, teenagers. Also, if you're a lightweight sleeper or you just don't have as many support needs, uh, this definitely can be a good option for you. And it is a pretty good value as long as you're kind of a kid, teenager, or a lightweight sleeper. All right, we know about the pros, but now let's talk about the cons or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. If you are a medium or heavyweight side sleeper, I think you're gonna probably bottom out. There's only two layers. The top layer is pretty soft, so you're gonna bottom out and feel some more firmness, feel some pressure on your shoulder there. Also, if you're kind of medium and heavyweight and you're a back sleeper, you probably need something that's a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. And I would say stomach sleepers probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive as well. Also, I put this about a six and a half out of 10, kind of right in the medium, uh, the middle of that firmness range. So if you want something that's extra soft or extra firm, I would also look elsewhere. All right, so if you're taking a look at the Vaya mattress, you probably see it's very similar to the Tuft and Needle, and you're probably wondering how they compare. Well, they are very similar. They have two layers, very no frills construction, pretty similar base layer, and then a pretty similar top layer that's very responsive, kind of combines memory foam and latex-like qualities into one foam. So from that perspective, very similar. The firmness is very similar as well. I put both at about a six and a half out of 10. Um, I would say that the Tuft and Needle um, components are gonna be a little bit more dense, a little bit more higher quality, but it does come at a higher price tag. So I would say if you are a heavier sleeper, a stomach sleeper, a back sleeper, I'd probably go with Tuft and Needle. But if you just want a guest room mattress or your lightweight teenager, your kind of lightweight uh, side sleeper, um, I would probably go with the, with the Vi in that case. All right, so if you buy this mattress, it's helpful to know how to unbox it. It's gonna come shipped in a box. Um, it's pretty lightweight. I would maybe get two people. You can maybe do it with one person, but kind of take it out, take it into your be uh, bedroom, put it close to your bed, kind of roll it out, unbox it a little bit, um, take it out of the box, and then slowly cut open the plastic layers. Make sure you don't cut into the mattress, but slowly cut the plastic layers. Then it's gonna expand. Then I would probably give it 24 to 48 hours. It will have a little bit of a chemical smell. That's very normal. That'll dissipate after 24 to 48 hours. Let it expand, and then it should be ready to go. All right, before we close out this video, I wanna go over some frequently asked questions about the Vaya mattress. All right, first question, how long is this mattress gonna last? Well, it depends on how big you are, how often you use it. I would say three years of very good use, and then after that, I'm not really sure. So I'd say definitely about three years. All right, how long is that chemical smell gonna last when you unbox it? Well, I would say 24 to 48 hours. You can also kind of open your window, air out the room a little bit to make it go faster. It will go away, so know that it will go away. It should be 24 to 48 hours. All right, is the Vaya mattress good for side sleepers? Well, I think it depends on your weight. If you are a heavier side sleeper, I would say no, because it's two layers. The top layer is very soft, and then you're gonna bottom out and hit that second layer pretty easily. So if you're a heavyweight sleeper, then I would say no, but if you're a kind of light or light medium weight sleeper, I would say definitely yes. It's a little bit uh, softer than average for those types of people, and it should really pressure pretty well. All right, that's basically it. I think if you are a lightweight sleeper, um, you don't have as many support needs, you're a kid, teenager, looking for a guest room mattress, definitely can be a very good option for you. I would just caution you if you need some extra support, want something a little bit uh, firmer, a little bit more supportive, you sleep on your back or stomach, for example, I would probably look elsewhere. But I do think a lot of people are gonna like this mattress. So that's basically it. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.